Hello everybody, my name is Lauren Brady and I am one of the youth interns this summer and I'm going to be sharing my testimony with you. So, I grew up in church and I got baptized when I was 13. I really loved the Lord then and I knew that I wanted to live for Him. But it really wasn't until summer 2020 that I discovered what the gospel meant for me. Um, so I was in Arizona for a youth and family internship. And obviously during the internship, COVID was going on. So we only got to hang out with the teens twice a week over Zoom. So I had a lot of time to spare. During that time, I was so bored with social media and Netflix. It was like, this is so boring. I don't know. There's nothing to watch. And it just, it didn't satisfy me. And um, all I really desired was to be in the presence of the Lord. The Lord really drew me to Himself. It was to the point where I spent all my time aside from the internship with Him, whether that was swinging on a rope swing, talking to Him, or in a hammock reading my Bible. Every moment that I wasn't with others, I was with Him. The Lord was really working in my heart during this time. I didn't really know how, but I knew that He was. I had a moment when I was listening to worship music in the car, and I came to the realization that the goodness, the love, the joy, and the life that I found in Him was too good not to share with others. I knew that people needed Him, that He was the best thing for them. So why wouldn't I share the life that I found in Him with them? I realized that the part of the gospel that I was supposed to share was my life with God. It sounds so simple, but it's not. My life with God is full of true joy, real peace, and everlasting love, goodness, and kindness. This is the gospel that I was made to share, and ultimately, it leads to the exact thing that Jesus did on the cross for us. In August of 2020, I was diagnosed with stage two heart failure. My heart looked like, and I quote, that I was on drugs. I was tired all the time. I was short of breath all the time, and I was 20. When the doctor told me and my mom that I was in heart failure, it was obviously very scary. And there were a lot of tears that were shed in that doctor's office. But in that moment, the Holy Spirit reminded me. He said, Lauren, your fight is not against heart failure. Your fight is against fear. I knew that the battle belonged to the Lord, that if I gave way to fear, I'll be paralyzed and there would absolutely be no way to have faith. The doctor started me on medications to reverse the failure. Three months later, I went back for another ultrasound. My heart had improved by 10%. It was now at 35% strength. The normal is about 75%. My next appointment was February 22nd, the day before I could barely walk 50 feet without being so out of breath. The day of my appointment I had to do an MRI, a heart cath, and an ultrasound. After a long day of testing, the doctor told me that my heart was normal, that it was healthy. They figured out that I had a virus that turned into myocarditis, which turned into heart failure. Usually with myocarditis, there is damaging and scarring left in your heart. But the MRI showed no damage and no scarring. I truly got a miracle. The Lord had really been preparing my heart for what was to come. I learned that miracles are where God starts and that my prayers were way too small compared to what He could do. I learned that scripture is important. Scripture is one thing that sustained me during this time. I don't know how many note cards with scripture on them that I brought to all my appointments. I learned that He is our Father. Why would He withhold anything good from His children? I learned that faith can move mountains and that prayer is powerful. I couldn't have made it here today if it wasn't for the people who were praying for me, even people that I didn't know. Most of all, I learned that there is hope, and His name is Jesus. I learned that God is who He says He is, and He loves me more than I could ever fathom, and He wants to give me all good things. And He can be and do all of that for you too.